What's up all you car maniacs out there? This is Karkamo, the Forger of Pain! Oh. And welcome guys to Karkamo Gaming. And today, oh. as... Will you let me finish my intro? And as always, I'm here, I'm running late. Oh. And I have two unboxings of... Wait a minute, give me a second. Oh. Of Arcade Block and Horror Block. And by the way, guys at customs and the guys to do the shipping, mailman, whatever, can I do a small suggestion? Can you stop putting these here? Would you mind putting them over here? Because, I mean, I don't want to keep like all the boxes. I'm not that sick. But let's say, hypothetically, that I want to keep the boxes. And you know you can't take this off because you know it, 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 it screws up the box. Check this, check this out. Yeah, yeah. So could you please stop doing that? Okay. Now, without further ado, let's start with uh, arcade block. Yeah, I know you agree, right, Krauser? Here it goes. And uh, okay, let's start with Pac-Man. We have uh, Salt and Papa. Of course, man, this is awesome if you're a geek like me. And uh, we have here, you know, I, rem I forget the names. I don't know if this is Blinky. It's not, it's definitely not Pinky. Uh, so here's the red one. Yeah, sue me, okay? Yes, they look pretty awesome. Oh, 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 oh my God. I had a little heart attack because I was gonna, I was gonna almost damage my salt. You can totally see there's, you know, shakers. Shake it, baby, shake it. Now, according to this, Blinky, it's the salt pot and Inky is the pepper pot. And well, it kind of makes sense because ooh, the red button must be the pepper pot. That's that's what's wrong with me today. I have butterfingers. Okay, moving on. We have a Skylander figure, and uh, well, it's not a figure. I mean, it's a official, and it works, and it's whirlwind. Rotations de la fure because yes, I'm butchering French. No, actually, I don't know anything about you know French, but here it is. And uh, to be honest, I never played Skylanders before. Yes, I know I haven't played Skylanders, but I know like Disney and Nintendo, they ripped those guys off and they're shaking it in with that technology. And well, we all know the sad Amiibo story. And uh, yes, so Skylander, I haven't gotten to Skylanders. I'm sure I will someday, but if I do now, I'm gonna be even more broke. I don't know if that's even possible. But anyway, I digress, let's move on. A Kingdom Hearts t-shirt. And uh, yes, Kingdom Hearts 3, it's finally coming. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. We have Zora, 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 Zora. I don't know how you want to call it, but yes, here it is with his almighty Keyblade. Yeah, I don't know. You Squaresoft, you guys did a Gunblade, why not a Keyblade? But oh, a Keyblade makes more makes more sense than a Gunblade. So yes, that's pretty cool. Okay, next. Up next, we have another keychain. Oh my god, I don't want to complain, but really, how much keychains can a one person have? Like I said on my last video. Too many keychains, man, too many keychains. But anyway, here it is. It's kind of a Minecraft, if you will. It says, level up anything with this 8-bit treasure. And yes, here it is. As you can see, guys, yes, it's sort of a kind of a Minecraft-ish treasure chest. So yes, a keychain, whoopity-doo, okay. Let's see what else do we have. Next up, we have a CD and this is pretty cool. Video Game Live Level 4. It's an arcade block edition and like I said it's here, only for arcade block. It comes with, it has like, you know, covers, Donkey Kong Country, League of Legends, Final Fantasy 6, Cave Story, World of Warcraft, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Snake Eater! 
Uncharted 2, Zelda's Lullaby, Resident Evil 5, really Resident Evil 5? Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Bioshock, and Earthworm Jim. It has a, quite a selection of like, you know, new IPs and retro, well, yeah, it has some retro, so I can't complain. Let's see, what else do we have? And last but not least, we have the magazine, and it's pretty awesome. You can see Mortal Kombat, okay. And we have here, that's Deborah, Scorpion, there is Kun Lao, Goro, Jade, that's Jade, right? Yeah, I don't know what she's doing here, but that's because she's dead. Spoilers! And uh, we have Cassie Cage and uh, Raiden, yes, Raiden. And it has an exclusive interview with that god of Mortal Kombat, Ed freaking Boone. I love you, Ed Boone. Marry me. We have this cool retrospective. Yes, I remember that now. This, this was the 90s, man. Those ads were badass, man. We have to return to that one. That was awesome, man. You give me. So it really hurts. Yeah, the punchline, like the. The pun, but it was it was awesome, man. I'm a '90s kid. As always, the magazine's pretty cool. It has a lot of stuff. It even talks about Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, and uh, hey, wait, what's this? Oh my God! Oh, it's talking about Tekken Cross Street Fighter. That yeah, what happened to this? The highly anticipated fighter remains shrouded in mystery. Yes, what the hell happened, Namco? When what the hell happened, Capcom? They kind of rhyme. It's talking about Bushido Blade. I freaking love that game. I don't know what happened to that franchise. It's talking about Battle Arena Toshinden. Oh my god, one of my favorite fighting games. Uh, yeah, I like it. I don't care about the graphics, man. I like that game. And Marvel vs. Capcom. And uh, oh, I love this magazine. It even talks about, yeah, Guilty Gear. Uh, Samurai Showdown. Oh my god, man. This is. I love this issue, man. Hey, it even has like. Stuttering Craig and uh, oh my god, really? I have to read this. You know, I have to, I have to, I have to read this. You know, on my spare time. But anyway, yes. And that's arcade blog, guys. And here we have the horror blog. Here goes nothing. I always wanted to say that. And oh, oh yeah, this. It's freaking awesome, we have here the Ecto-1. But I'm not sure, let me take a look, okay? Because I'm not sure what it is. I, I have no words, man. I freaking love Ghostbusters. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Dan Aykroyd. I love Harold Ramis, rest in peace. I love uh, Ernie Hudson. And my favorite, Bill Murray. Oh my god, this is, oh my god, this dude is too awesome. This is too freaking awesome. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible to open this end. Here it is. <sighs> Smells like no. And yes, you can't be wrong without more shots for your drunken ass collection. And that's pretty cool. I like it. They're like little skeletons, you know, skulls. And you can never have enough shot glass. And yes, there's like a little skull here. And well, that's pretty cool. And then let me see the other one. I think they're the same. Yes, they're basically the same. Next! And I was just saying that you can never have enough shot glasses. And now we have. I'm sure this is a mug. What else could it be? I can bet all my money that this is a mug. And yes, it is. I told you so. And you can never have enough owl. You can never have enough m coffee mugs. Mugs. And I didn't even see it. It's the Welcome to the Bates Motel. No vacancy. And uh, do you know what this is? Do you get the reference? Um, Psycho by Alfred friggin' Hitchcock. So anyway, if you haven't seen it, see it, and I'm talking about the original, not that shot-by-shot -shot remake with Vince Vaughn. Really? Vince Vaughn? Ugh. 
she just, uh, she just goes a little mad sometimes. Mother! Oh, God! Mother! Oh, my God. This horror blog and this nerd blog, it's pretty freaking awesome so far. So, let's... So just when you think this couldn't get any more cooler, if you will, we have this. This, you know, the things to put your glasses and not, you know, screwing up your tables. And uh, oh, and I even didn't, I, I didn't notice this. Oh my God, this is full of surprises. It says here, the Overlook Hotel. Anyway, do you get the reference? The Overlook Hotel. Let me give you a small hint. Here's Karki. Anything coming through? Well, it's The Shining. Yes, one of the, another one. Uh, Stephen King wrote it and it was adapted by the other mastermind, Kubrick. I freaking love Stanley Kubrick. And yes, you must see it. Uh, I don't know if I'm opening these, but yes, you have, this horror block is like drinking theme, I guess. So we're almost done. Let's check the t-shirt and the magazine. And uh, I guess that will be it. And I'm loving this t-shirt, man, because it says, I love evil, yeah. Yes, this is my kind of t-shirt. I would freaking, I'm gonna wear this. I'll probably lose the sleeves because you know, that's the way I roll. And finally, the magazine here, take a look. Well, for starters, I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, whatever, <laughs> looks cool. H.R. Geiger, you know, the guy that did like the amazing design for the aliens and uh, he did a lot of cool stuff. He also was involved in that PC game called System Shock. And uh, yes, uh, we have a, an article about him. And we have here evil in every way, a lot of shark and B-movie stuff that, you know, that's head cases. <laughs> Get it? Head cases. That's what I love about horror, man. You could go like Tropic Thunder. You could go full retard, and it would still be pretty freaking awesome. That's like shake that tower, man. That's like human centipede four. Yeah, I must check number number three, right? Yeah, I must check that movie. And I, oh, really? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but yeah, it looks Hellraiser. It looks kind of my thing. The drooling, what? The drooling class, and uh, just check this out, man. I love because there's still like things that I never heard of in my life, and I find out about because of this. So yeah, that's, yeah, really, check it out, man. That's it for this unboxing of Horror Block and Arcade Block. And guys, I can't recommend both enough. I wish I had more money because I want to get into Comic Block. And you know what? I think, I think, I'm gonna stop, you know, uh, I might cut uh, Loot Crate because for the most part, you know, it's not that specific. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it. And uh, you know, with uh, with the specific ones, you can't go wrong. Comic Block is, I, I'm guessing, I don't know, I'm gonna take a wild guess. I think it's gonna be like comic related. So, and yes, Wrestle Block, Wrestle Block, it's gonna be like cooking related. Leave a comment, which one do you have? Which one will you get? Will what? Will will which one you don't like? And you know, share because I don't know if you're old enough to remember Napster. I'm gonna milk that joke to the end. Sharing is caring. That's it. Thank you for watching. This is Karakamo Gaming. Like or die.